just as how you expect to be forgiven, you must also want to forgive others. Wallahu yuhibbul muhsineen and Allah loves those who do good. Spend the moments. It may look like a long period. And it may look as if you have the world of time. But no. The time is determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't know when it will expire. So the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allotted to each and every one of us, spend it. Use it in doing good. Don't look at taking revenge or retaliating or looking that, uh, you know, good and evil, they are the same. Someone does good to you, you do good in to, to, to that person. Someone does evil to you, you do evil to that person. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةِ إِرْفَ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنَ Allah says that good and evil, they are not alike. Whenever you want or think of doing something, do something that is better. Not because someone has spoken ill of you, you will speak ill of that person. Not because someone was unkind to you, you will be, you will be unkind to that person. Not because someone was harsh and difficult, you would be harsh and difficult. Allah says, do something that is better. Perchance, perhaps, the one with whom you had some issue, instead of him gravitating more and more away from you, or having more displeasure and dislike for you, that person may become your bosom friend. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in the Quran. Allah says again in the Quran, Walaman sabara. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says as for the one who is patient and forgiving verily that is the steadfast heart of things. Adopt these two qualities. Have patience with people. Have patience with your spouse. Have patience with your children. Have patience with your mothers and fathers. Have patience with your brothers and sisters. They also would make mistakes. They would also be doing things that you may not appreciate. Be forgiving. It is the best thing that you can do. You, you 
each and every one of us, we need to be tolerant. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is said that he spoke about one of his companions, Al Hajj Abdul Qais, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about him, or he told him, Inna fika khaslatain. يُحِبُّهُ اللَّهُ يُحِبُّهُمُ اللَّهُ الحلم والأناء Verily in you there are two qualities Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them What are these two qualities? Mildness Kindness, softness, and toleration. Not everything makes you angry. You don't always think that you are the best. And you do not tolerate the opinions of other people. You do not look at life in such a way that you are the only one who exists. And if it is not your way, then there is no other way. You are always soft and mild. And you always look to accommodate people. You tolerate the opinions of other people. And so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying this of one of his companions. These are two qualities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we, we need to strive to have these qualities within us. Life is short. Don't leave this world with people having bad taste in their mouth about your, your behavior, about the qualities that you have demonstrated. Again, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna allaha rafiqan يُحِبُّ الرِّفْقَ فِي الْأَمْرِ كُلِّهِمْ Verily, Allah is kind and He loves kindness in everything that we do. In every affair, in every matter, in everything that we do, Allah wants kindness to be demonstrated in it. Again, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah rafiqun yuhibbu rifqa. And then he continues, Wa yu'ti ala rifq ma la yu'ti ala ala al-unf wa ma la yu'ti ala ma siwa. Verily, Allah is kind and He loves kindness. Allah bestows upon kindness that which He does not bestow upon harshness. And Allah bestows upon kindness and tenderness that which he does not bestow upon anything else. This is our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam telling us about our Creator 
in how he is kind and compassionate and loving to us. And this is what he wants to see from us when it comes to his creation. And Allah rewards tremendously for kindness and tenderness. You know, the Prophet وسلم, talks about the beautification of things. In this world that we live in, we tend to look at uh, superficial beautification or artificial beautification. We look at beautifying our homes. We put wonderful, you know, excellent furniture in our homes. Wooden floors or carpeted floors. We buy a new car. We make sure that it is taken care of, you know, in terms of beautifying it. We beautify ourselves with good clothing, nice hairstyle. But here is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us about beauty. He says, "Inna rifqa la yakuna fi shayim illa zanahum, wala yunzagu min shayin illa shanahum." Verily. Softness, kindness, whenever it is in something, it adds beauty to it. It makes it beautiful. So you can dress up the home and you can dress up yourself and you can, you, you, you can look great. And it's okay to look great. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when you have sha'ar, if you have hair, groom it, make it look good. So yes, it is good to look great. But if there is only harshness from you, if there is no compassion, no kindness from you, there is no beauty in what you have. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, softness, Kindness, when it is added to anything, it brings out the beauty of that thing. So always walk the land in a kind and compassionate, a soft, mild way. And the Prophet wasallam, he also said, when there is no softness, when there is no kindness, then the glamour and the beauty is being snatched away from that thing. So when we do not demonstrate kindness and softness and mildness, the, the beauty of our actions the beauty of our sayings, it's being snatched away. Glamour, beautification, it comes from the kindness and softness. Even in times when people might have done wrong, Maybe because of ignorance. Maybe because they did not know the ruling. We saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asking his companions to demonstrate kindness. There was an Arabi, a, a villager, who came to the masjid and he urinated in front of everyone in the masjid. And the companions were angry and upset, were ready to pounce upon him. And the Prophet wasallam told them to restrain themselves. He said, take a bucket of water, throw it on the urine so that 
you may remove the impurity. This was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam demonstrating that kindness even if it, at the time when you thought that the man should have had better understanding and don't do what he had done. How often we face this in life and instead of doing the right thing, being kind, or to restrain ourselves, we want to retaliate. We want to take revenge. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yassiru wa la tu'assiru wa bashiru wa la tunaffiru The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Make things easy and not difficult. Sometimes parents can make things very difficult on their children. And instead of holding on to them, they drive them away from them. We, we have the same situation in terms of education in schools. Teachers need to be compassionate and kind. You, you would find that children would be loving, accepting. You would not be driving them away. Don't make things difficult. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, always be cheerful, smile, give glad tidings. It's not always about bad news or to make people feel that everything in this life is so difficult. Bring some good news. Be cheerful. Give people glad tidings. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he advised us. You know, in his life, it is said of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that if he was given an option to choose between two things, he would choose the one that was easy, easier of the two. The one that was less difficult, so long as it was not haram. If it was haram, it was, if it was unlawful, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would be the first one to turn away from it. This was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man yuhram al-rifq, yuhram al-khayr, the one who is devoid of kindness, the one who is devoid of softness, he is devoid of good in every kind. He is devoid of every kind of good. And, and so, parents need to demonstrate kindness and parents need to teach their children to be kind 
That is so important. If you are being brought up in a home where there's always harshness, where there's always things that are, all, uh, it's always being made difficult, where you speak in loud tone and always seem as if you're quarreling and fighting, it is possible that children will grow up being harsh and unkind and not being compassionate. So it's important that parents they demonstrate these qualities at home demonstrate these qualities in their circles so that it will rub off on their children. The children will uh, adopt such, such qualities. Look at people today and you will find sometimes that the same qualities that the parents have, the same qualities that the, the children have taken. So be careful, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, that you always strive to be kind, to be compassionate, to be loving, so that those who see you, those who are with you on a, on a, on a daily basis, that they will also be kind and compassionate and they will also be loving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to always be kind and compassionate and loving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may He save us from the torment of hellfire. ولسائر المؤمن المؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Ridwan Allahi alayhi mila yawmiddin. Amma ba'd. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna Allah katab al-ihsan ala kulli shayin. Fa'idha qataltum, fa'ahsinu al-qidla. Wa'idha dhabahtum, فَأَحْسِنُ الذِّبْحَ Allah has written perfection for everything. Allah has written goodness and kindness for everything. If you happen to be in a battlefield, for example, and you have to take the life of someone, take it in a kind way good way. If you have to slaughter an animal, slaughter the animal in the best way. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, do it in such a way that you sharpen your knife. And by sharpening the knife, you would not bring such suffering or intense, severe suffering to the animal that is halal for you. Look, look at the, the compassion, look at the kindness, that even at the time of war, even at the time when you have to take the life of someone, that you do it with some degree of kindness. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is reported by Ibn Mas'ud that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he, he, he said to his companions, 
ala ukhbirukum biman yahrumu ala nar aw biman tahrumu alayhi nar shall i not tell you of the one whom it is unlawful for the fire that the fire should not touch such a person and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said tahrumu ala kulli qaribin hayyin layyin sahlin that the nar the fire of hell it is haram for those who are closer to people those who are soft those who are lenient and those who are kind-hearted it is not a matter of just enjoying the benefits in this world for kindness and softness and compassion but is also enjoying the benefits in the world hereafter we all want to be saved from the fire of hell and here prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he's saying to his companions that those who will the fire of hell will not touch are those who are closer to people those who are soft those who are lenient and those who are kind-hearted may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from among them لقد امرنا الله سبحانه وتعالى في القران العظيم حيث قال ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وارض الله من خلفائه الاربعه ابي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي ومن ستة الباقين المبشرين بالجنه ومن سائر الصحابه ومن التابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على الدين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرت ولا هم إلا فرجت ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا الا رحمت اللهم تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب الرحيم عباد الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمه واذكروه على الائه ولا ذكر الله اكبر والله يعلم ما تسنون اقم الصلاه